Hey guys, Prince Laharukun here, and welcome back to a game I haven't touched in over a freaking year. Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Yeah, there's no excuse for it. Uh, in the previous episode, uh, we got the Undini Soul, which allows us to walk on water. But aside from that, we have a unique soul here with us today. But it's not a soul that's in the game. Who are you, unique soul? Uh, I am Turnus Baradish, the soul that allows you to eat vegetables. That is a soul that I'm sure many little kids would not desire. Oh, eat your broccoli! <laughs> little bastards. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, now I'm gonna get hate for that. Oh, totally. Because, you know, that's what people do. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, your, your friend called me my kid a little bastard. <laughs> Whatever. So as you can yeah. see, the Undini lets us walk on water surface, the water surface, which is how we can get up here, so we can get to the new area. It's pretty neat. You probably won't use it more than like two or three times in the game. It's really just one of those souls yeah. you just kind of use to just get places. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Pretty much. I won't I mean. go there either. I won't go there. <laughs> there's like there, there's a line you can cross with that, and I don't want to cross that line. Oh, but crossing lines is fun. Here we are on the floating garden. True, but... Oh god. Oh, what the hell was that? Cockatrice. Yeah, they if they hit you with their little stare, which is their only attack, you get uh, turned to stone. Now, we could go to the right here, but... Eh, let's go explore a little bit. Why not? So, turn up. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know I've given you the chance to do this previously in uh, Mother 3, but for my fans, or fans, <laughs> fans, uh, subscribers who haven't seen uh, Mother 3 yet, um, you want to give yourself a, do you want to just pour yourself out a little bit and tell people about your current projects and whatnot? Well, I must say so. Oh, no, please. Um, no, just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I am a, <clears throat> also a Let's Player as well. Uh, currently I am Let's Playing two games. Uh, right now I'm Let's Playing... Uh, Threads of Fates, and that game you can play two stories. I had done, did Rue, uh, the Mysterious Boy, a year ago, and then now I'm doing Mint, uh, and then let's be playing my favorite game, Legend of Mana for the PlayStation. Which is an amazing uh, really game, A really fun way. game, and, and, yeah, and I, I love it to death, and it's just a fun game. I recommend anyone who wants to play, who likes the Mana series, just to play that game and play it, and, but yeah, those are two games I'm playing, and uh, check me out, yo. I don't yeah. know. That's all. Like, that's as much whore. As much whore out. <laughs> yeah, that's as much whoring as I can do right now. I don't want to do too much. <laughs> oh. no, it's your said. channel. Oh. Oh. So here we are in the floating gardens. This area is really weird. So as you can see on the map, we're kind of floating. You're like, you're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, pretty much. I always hated this area because for some reason I always managed to get lost as a uh, as a kid when I played this game. It's like it's not yeah. that, it's oh god. <laughs> it's not Damn, that hard though. Damn, the golem you. Oh yeah. The, that golem reminds me of that Tekken character. Oh, who was it? Um, Momoji. I don't know his name. Right? Yeah, he reminds me of reminds me of Momoji. Yeah. Wasn't that his name? Because the way he did that little punch, I think so. I don't want to. I, I would look it up, but I'm, you know, other stuff on the computer, but it, that's just hilarious because it looks the way he punches you. Yeah, that's what that reminds me of, too. I didn't notice that till just now. <laughs> so the the floating gardens is probably one of the harder areas in the game, for sure, because all the enemies here will hit hard and they'll hit pretty fast, too. Hmm. So you want to be, so hopefully by this point you either have some good defense or overleveled. I'm actually underleveled for this section. Wow. Yeah, I'm only level 17. You're supposed to be- I'd recommend at least being level 20 to 22 before you do this section. Jeez. Oh god, cause see, the freaking werewolves, and you don't want to fight these guys on the stairs. No, Cause they're like not. freaking- oh god, come on. There we go. <laughs> and that's Aww. the devil. Hello, devil. Um, you do- hey. I do strongly suggest, um, getting the devil soul. The devil soul will come into play much later. I'll be getting it off screen. But the okay. Devil Soul is a very, very useful soul. Is it a red, blue, or yellow soul? Uh, it's a blue soul. Oh, okay. But it has a really unique... Come, freaking werewolf, quit <laughs> low sweep kicking me. <laughs> <laughs> the freaking werewolves... Nice. Those are the werewolves... I think those are in Symphony of the Night, if I recall. 
I wouldn't know. This, uh, like, the, I know the disc armor. Oh, there's another one. Screw you. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> have you played any Castlevanias? Uh, I played, uh, Castle... I have played a... I can't remember which one. I, ta I think I talked about this one. It was the first one that came out for the GBA. Oh, the Castlevania so Circle game. of the Moon? Circle of the Moon, and then I played, uh, I played the original one for the Game Boy. Um, and then I played the Castlevania Curse of Darkness for the PC oh. PlayStation 2. We got a cutscene. You want to do some voice okay. acting? Yeah, Graham Jones. You can be Graham on the Soma. Yay! So we meet again. I'm glad to see you're unscathed. Good to see you too. Uh, I've got something I want to ask you. Sure, go ahead. Someone told me that you are to inherit Dracula's powers. I take it that lady from the church told you that, didn't she? It's not true, is it? The term inherit is incorrect. It's true then. I was born on the very day Dr that Dracula was destroyed. So, in short, that means I am Dracula. That can't be right. You've been so kind and friendly to me. That is because I don't consider you a threat to my mission. But that being said, you have made it this far. I sense a power within you. Do tell me, what kind of power has awoken within you? Um, the power to rule? What? <laughs> Foolish boy. That's impossible! Huh? I can't remain here any longer. I must get to the throne. Your name is Soma, right? You are wrong, Soma. I will not allow you to rule. Jeez. I realize his, what was that all about? <laughs> I realize his uh, portrait changed and I'm like, ah, I forgot to change dynamic voice acting. <laughs> oh well. That's fine. You're better at it than I am. <laughs> Hey, so, I look up oh to the god, good ones. Oh god, I just ran right into those spikes. Oh, so, pain. as you can see, this is the lovely, wonderful clock tower. The bane of Yay. every single Castlevania player's existence. And hey, holy god, does it freaking suck in this version I walked into that golem who blended into the background. Hey, yeah, I didn't notice until I saw 45. <laughs> yeah, same here. Hey, Medusa oh heads. Oh, hey, Medusa I heads. missed you guys. Oh god, save point. don't Yay. die. Yay, free healing. I'm gonna use that to heal, I like yeah. The, I like the jump for joy you did there. <laughs> oh, so so according to, uh, apparently I didn't know this, in the background here, see where I swing my sword? There's a coffin yeah. here. You know what that uh -huh. coffin is, right? No. That's the save point coffin from uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I learned that from Did You Know Gaming, so I can't claim to have learned it on my own, or, you know, That's That's else. cool, though. I mean, that... Cutscene. Is, oh, yay. Do you want to be a girl? Uh, um, yeah, sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, I gotta get sexy for a sec. Hang on. <laughs> Hello, Soma. Hey, Yoko. I just ran into Graham. Really? Which way did he go? He was in a rush to get to the throne. Just as I thought. There is something important in the throne room. I'm sorry, Yoko. What? What? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? He's not who I thought he was. He was kind to me only because he thought I was powerless. I see. But his attitude changed suddenly when I told him about my power. Major lags. Oh, there it is. Well, in his mind, he thinks everything in this castle is his. So that's the reason? But it's better this way. What is? <clears throat> the fact that he sees you as an enemy now means you're my comrade. Yay. Ah. Does it? What? You don't want to be on my side? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> it's fun to tease you. Wink. But this... Oh, Heart. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> But this is not the time to be fooling around, so get your hand off my shoulder. <laughs> your presence here has thrown Graham into a panic. 
This is our chance. What sort of chance? Using his cunning mind, he's able to evade us up until now. I don't think anyone has ever made seen him panic before. I get it. Circumstances right now are making him act this way. That is exactly right. This is an excellent opportunity to trap him. Well, I must be on my way. See you, heart. Bye, Yoko. Who isn't in any relation to the Beatles member or Beatles at all? No, if, they, if it was, then she'd be a bitch. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Snack is actually watching. I'm sorry. We still love you, Snack. Yeah, on Sundays. Only on Sundays. Okay, so this is probably the meanest trick in the whole freaking game. See that wall over there to the left? Yeah. Ge uh -huh. Guess what? Just guess. What? One guess. Uh -huh. It's not real. I don't know. Come on. Wait. There we go. Are you... S oh, what? It's a secret passageway. Are you serious? Yes. Why would they do that to you and give you lightning dolls to fight? I don't know, but you have to have like full health when you do that, because if you don't, it's going to hurt. And I don't know of any other way to uh, break that wall, but we got a new weapon, the Mistletane. Um, Mistletane. It is a stronger um, It is a stronger weapon for sure. Uh, I'll probably use it instead, because it increases. It gives us a nice boost to our attack. But because of that, I'm going to have to go oh, back and heal. Oh, there's a good amount of range it gives you too, as well. Oh yeah, from, and it's, from the way it's when you swing it. Oh, the room with Yoko got replaced by a disc armor. Oh, I think it's too. faster too. I'll take that. Yeah. Huh. Oh, yay. What? Nice. I was saying, go iron plate. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was about to buy one. I'm glad I didn't. There you go. But I'm going back to heal because that section sucks. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I would have expected a like you know another like a woman enemy to replace that one instead not <laughs> where Yoko was. That would be pretty appropriate. Yeah, it would be, but whatever. This armor it is. All right, let's do you scale this wall and just uh, fight. Ow! See, like that, like that banshee harpy. That would have been perfect. Yeah, that would have been a perfect, uh, at least like two of them or something. I agree. Yeah, that's Harp Lady's sister. <laughs> so, I uh, think, I think the, uh, the grunting has a, um, an element to it, because I was only doing 15 damage to the bomb armors. Really? Yeah, so they must resist whatever the grunting has, so keep that in mind if you're playing through. Huh. So, you don't want to go down there. Because if you do, you're gonna have to, uh, you have no way of yeah, getting back I... up without going into the spikes. Unless you didn't step on all of those, um, blocks like I did. Hmm. It's a really mean oh, trap. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, I hate Medusa heads. <laughs> See, you say the clock tower is the bane of all Castlevania, but I think Medusa heads are well, the, without well, the, Medusa a heads doubt. are in the clock tower. Yeah, good point, so that's so, it. So, <laughs> combine that with the, the tricky uh, platforming and do what? And I saw, I saw a level up. So, the, we're supposed to go up, but I want to show this off real quick. If you go this way, okay. we have a neat little door. Yay. That takes us to a brand new area. Yay. Call? Um, no. it's the, uh, <laughs> it's an area we've already been to. Uh, it's the, um... Oh. oh, what is it called? I want to say it's the final hall. Oh. It's essentially the last area of the game. <laughs> uh, it's always been funny to me in Castlevania games where you always have access to the final area, but you can't go anywhere in the final area. <laughs> yeah, but it creates a nice little shortcut if you do, when you do go through there, to come back to the clock tower quickly. For whatever nice. reason, you'd want to come back to this godforsaken location. Ow. Well, to fight lightning dolls, of course. Well, yeah, that's the meaning of life, is fighting lightning dolls. So remember <laughs> a boss? So remember the boss of the giant knight we fought before? He's yeah. a common enemy now. Oh, really? Ow. That did yeah, not work as well should have. <laughs> Those rocks do hurt, by the way. Yeah, I figured they would. 
I know, but some people Great might... armor! There we go. Some people might just see it as, uh, um... Uh... Just decoration. By the way, the, the, uh, if you want to grind against this guy, you can get a uh, mm. nice sword from him that does a lot more damage than anything you can get currently, but you have to get lucky with the drops. Is it like a four or five star drop or something? Uh, psh, it's a pretty low drop if I recall. But uh, it's a oh, safe okay. point. Um, yeah, let's save. Yeah. I don't like to save in the middle of recording, but we're about to fight your mine and our favorite boss. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Why not? Here we go. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Oh no! I see sight. And I see death. Okay. It's turn up. Death. Turn up. Take over. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Take over commentary. Okay. <laughs> well, folks, we got a lot of I gotta fight him. Yeah, get him, Soma. Soma Cruz. And he's. Oh, nice sight to the left, and it's. It's gonna lag on me, so I don't. I might miss <laughs> socks on my back. But anyway, how are you guys doing? How do you guys? How do you guys? Is this, this game? Cause I. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Uh, so there will be lag on my folks. So if I, I may miss stuff. Like I missed that beam of light when you got hit by the beam of light. There's again. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna switch something. Oh, let's okay. do Minotaur. That might, that actually might help increase in your strength there. I definitely use something with po potions. There you go. Potions. There you go. And restore your MP. See, I feel like. So wait, you have to hit the scythe? Yeah. Um, you have to hit what? a scythe. There we go. That's now that we've destroyed a scythe, this is form two. Uh huh. Oh, <laughs> two boss. I love. Oh God. Yeah, what the death hell? Was, you thought death was hard at first. Now he's with Darth Maul on your ass. Yeah. He went uh. Darth Maul like. That's now. Bo, bo, bo. No. <laughs> Sorry. No, I don't want to do that. Oh shoot! I didn't mean to. Oh use no. That. That's fine. Copyright. Oh. Don't want that. Oh god. Got a you know, He looks pretty badass. Oh for sure. Oh god, man. I feel like if you just touch those things, they'll just hurt you. Oh, they do. Ah, uh, fun time. No, no, no. You duck that. No. Oh god. Right there, just right there, folks. Aw, oh, man. I was watching Hajime no Ipo, I should be a better announcer. <laughs> you are on the edge of your seat, folks! Oh. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Uh, melon. Yay! Oh, wow, that's short. All your HP. How much HP does he- Oh, never mind, don't answer that question. I don't actually remember, I didn't look it up. Ah, poop. I would look it up, but... Peter can't see, can only do so much. See, whenever I always thought you fight death in a clock tower, why would you fight death in a clock tower? I mean, I think you fought like Father Time or something like that, you know? But, well, actually, when you think about it, death is yes. The time Ugh. controls for death. Wow. I think. Uh, yeah, I feel like that was gonna hurt you. That was cheap. I just, I, I just kind of knew it. I, I knew care. that was gonna happen. I don't even care. I beat death. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You just got a harled. Yes. Actually, that makes sense. Okay. So we're being All right, now what's this one? You get a special soul. You get Scola, which is the polar opposite of Undini, which allows us to walk while underwater. And then I was also the one where you got to use a scythe. Yeah, you also get a uh, yeah, you get a uh, blue soul, which is our second blue soul actually, which attacks nice. enemies using sickles, which is when you summon it. It's essentially death's ability. But it, oh, uh, it takes cool. up 10 MP over time, though. So I don't like to use it. That's an over time one? Yeah. So it, you don't, like, activate it. It just does it over time? Well, you, you activate it, and then it uses it until you deactivate it. Okay. But we're going to save, uh, because I'm not okay. doing it again. <laughs> and, no. Uh, and if you lose the recording, say, hey, guys, I beat death off screen, and I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be mean, though. Okay, well... well I think that'll about do it for this episode. Uh, sorry if it was a little bit shaky. I um, I haven't recorded in a while, but I'm excited to be back. This was a lot of fun. And uh, thank you so much, uh, Turnip, for coming, for joining me on this uh, Creeptacular Castlevania event. Yeah. I am death. <laughs> I will 
haunt you in your sleep. Sorry, I lost it. I I had it, but I lost you it. Like, I oh, will, and then haunt you in your sleep. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I will haunt your dreams. Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys for joining us, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later, folks. Bye. -bye.